Hey guys, Gummy Gamer here, and it's time for some car fight news. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me better. As you guys hopefully noticed that I got a new headset, so hopefully my voice comes in a bit more clear than without it. So, going on guys, we don't have too much bounce for this episode of Card Fight News, so we're going to be adding in some extra cards that they have announced and a little bit more commentary. And basically on my thoughts about those cards. So, yeah, let's just jump right into you guys. So basically what's going on right now, they have announcements on new card limitations. Basically they didn't have any changes to it. And it states here it's going to be till September 1st. So nothing will be changed till September 1st. So we might see some changes later on, but as of right now it looks like things are pretty solid and balanced in the game. So it looks like they don't have to touch upon anything right now. So, alright, basically um, for you guys who are looking forward to the movement Bermuda Triangle stuff. It looks like they're going to be announcing it on the 18th. They'll be talking about a little bit of uh, the anime and some product news coming out. So it looks like it'll be on, eight, uh, on the 18th of this month. So yeah, hope you guys are looking to you guys who are looking forward to that. Hope you guys enjoy whatever they're going to um, release. So going on right here, we get a pre, well, more of like a snippet, I guess. Be the right word of the last fight of the uh, the last episode. So that was between Asaka, uh, Asaka and Miwa. Next we have here is a fight between, well, a glimpse of the next episode between the fight of Misaki and Asaka. Looks like Ren's gonna be showing up at the shop during the fight's occurrence as well. And during the same time, it looks like Aichi and Kamoi will be meeting up with Kyo, who's running away from the Foo Fighters hunt for his lost match. Right, going on, we have quick glimpse here between a Asaka and Misaki during their rides. So it looks like they're just changing the heads of the characters to match the main characters and the actual cards, so looks like everything's going to be staying the same. Alright, heading back here. So you guys are playing that uh, locals and stuff. Looks like these are going to be the next ones that are being released for um, you players that are participating or win the fight. All right, so basically for the G standard participation, we have Cursed Eye and Cursed Eye Raven, and that's just for participation and Vanguard coupon as well. As the winner gets a Dark Dragon Phantom Blaster Diablo. And that is right here as you guys can see. And for the standard premium players, participation will gain a special fight pack as well as a Vanguard coupon, as you guys can see right here. And for the winner, they'll get a Blaster Rape here. So I'll pull this up again, so it is gonna be this one right here. Hey guys, so whoever, yeah, so basically whoever participating in this, um, these are basically the next month in September's uh, promotional cards. So yeah, so going on here, we're gonna be looking at this stuff. So these are the card releases for this week. So just part of it basically. So right here we have Midnight Bunny. She's a Grade One unit for Pale Moon. So she's going to be at 8k attack power base as well as a 10k shield. Her ability is when it boosts, soul charge 1. When attack, it boosts. Counter blast 1, place this unit in a soul, call one other card. Call one card other than a grade 1 from your soul to your card circle. So what is good about this is basically if you have open rear guard circles, we can see some good action here. So basically if you have this one supporting the vanguard and you have two open rear guard circles after the attack you get to soul charge but if it did hit you're able to call to a rear guard circle so obviously they're going to push for a guard here and it's only basically a counter blast and this would be going to the soul so with that being like done in you can actually use this later on because cards do get called from soul for pale moon so 
I can actually see this being used in pretty good combos. So, yeah, go on. Has pretty much <laughs> one hundred percent that. So, yeah, go on. So basically, here we have magical boxer tamer, uh, box streamer. Then this is a grade two unit for PM moons, a power base of 9k and a shield base of 5k. Auto Vanguard Circle only. When this unit is hit by a attack of your opponent's unit, cause Carablast 2, discard card from your hand, call up five cards from your soul. So the thing I don't like about this, it has to be an on hit. So when this unit gets hit, only on Vanguard Circle you can call your five units, but other than that it's kind of like limiting limiting effects of the card so it does have the continuous effect on rigor circle during your turn if there's another actual tamer in your soul this unit gets plus 3k so yeah we can see it at a 12k but if this is on a rigor circle and not an excel circle we can just see this hitting for 12 against force clan that would be uh, it would need some support you know so this is kind of an iffy card for me because again it has to be hit during the time it was on Vanguard Circle. Usually you ride up to grade three by that time. If you're grade still grade two, this could be a very useful card. But in my taste right now, I'm just like, eh. it's okay for that power gain, but I don't see this being put too much in the deck. Unless you want to keep this as your main grade too, but it's up to you. You're gonna to have to put in five cards in your soul, fill it up a bit more. So you're gonna to have to use her some, uh, use Midnight Bunny within the combo of this. So going on, we have Golden Beast Tamer. This is our grade three Excel unit. So she's gonna be at a power of 12k base. Continuous effect on Vanguard Circle during a turn. If you have five or more units, all your front euro units gain plus 3k. And when this card attacks, can blast one, place one card from your hand to soul, call up to two units from your soul. So for this card, this can actually work within the deck because you will be calling from soul, and this deck fills up your soul pretty well. Um, to be blunt, so basically, you guys. That extra 3k does matter a good portion because like we see all saw here before, this will be at 12k with that additional 3k we get plus 15. I'll be at a 15 so that extra power does put allows you to push a bit more so Pound Moons are gonna be a pretty okay deck to be honest. It could be better. I don't know. Guess we'll just have to see when it does come out. Um for the US release. I didn't look too much into the Japanese release so I can't really state too much about uh, how it was affected in the uh, release. So yeah for a secondary effect so when it attacks kind of blast one place one card from your hand into your soul called two units from your soul. So for this one it's it's interesting because you get to put a card from your hand so say you have grade 3 that you wanted to call in you can use this or grade 2 unit so you're, you're basically putting out a unit uh, from your hand in there to give you additional attack power so that is, um, that is pretty interesting see because basically you get to swap in or place on top of a um, unit a retire unit and call in Another one, so you get additional attacks. So, would be what would be nice here to see is um, cards being put into the soul from the drop zone as well. For this, that would probably help out this deck a bit much too as well. All right, so that is pretty much it for those announcement of these cards. So going on, we're just gonna take a look at the other cards that are being released here. So first, we're gonna be taking a look at a Merkuma unit, which is Grade three, unfortunately, it is not a um, Magic Gibbs support unit, so it does get Doom Drive and everything, but Magic Gibbs allow you to push a bit more. So he has a 12 uh, K base unit, 
and it has an auto effect when this card is revealed during your drive check you may call this unit to rear guard circle so what is good about this effect is it does not have to be on a circle state where it affects if it just happens during drive check you can get an extra unit you get the extra attack in or call but hopefully you'll have enough power because these are 12k beasts and if you're playing against the force it will not do much unless it gets that boost so this is kind of a gamble card to have but I could see it will have its uses in Mercuro as a support unit but um, I guess we'll just have to see other players that as you can pretty much build um, some interesting decks from here might have you might not have too many um, options right now since the game's being released but they give you they do give you the option to mess around and see if this will work in the deck or not so it's cool that it's not like circle um, restricted but I would see probably like two in this within a Mercuro deck especially since they already have their OP <laughs> unit that doesn't allow you to uh, call also that combo is pretty harsh as well so you can't write either and stuff so I don't I don't know if there would be room for this card in there but I guess if someone wants to build something around that we can see so going on here we have grade 1 unit and this is a 7k power base as well as a 10k shield as soon as that is standing at a grade 1 right now so a con continuous vanguard and regard effect during your turn if you have placed the rear guard from your deck this unit gets plus 5k so this is at a 12k uh, base so basically this allows you to push in for an additional um, power but again since it is a 12k it will have a disadvantage to a force uh, clan so that is the thing about that so uh, this card in my opinion it's an okay card um, considering that you might be calling because we have here it is good combo with Stealthine Hayakume so the thing about this this is very situational if you don't get it you don't get to call and this unit you have to have a call from deck so I believe that Mercrones right now are doing that, so you will probably see him around since he does get that actual extra five power. So he might be a unit you might be using, but for this grade three unit, I I don't know if there would be room for him to be honest. Um, if you would be adding him, it'd probably be at two. I should building around that kind of ga uh, deck, but that'd be pretty much a gamble. Alright, going on here, we have our last card of the day, and that is Starting Presenter. So, as we saw in the fight, if you guys haven't seen it, this is a card that is used between Misak, uh, Asaka and Miwa's fight. So, it's just being announced, so here it is for you guys. So, this is a grade 1 unit at 8k power base and a 10k shield on vanguard or regard circle when placed from hand soul charge one and when wrote upon put a card from your hand into soul soul charge one and you may you may call the card that was soul charge to rear guard circle so all in all this unit would fit perfectly um, within the deck you, you get a ride upon so if it's your first card you gain the additional ride if you just place it you get the additional soul charge so when it's on place from hand that's when you get it but it's just like my thought on this is like on place would have been a bit more OP so I like that they put that restriction for oh, when it's placed from hand soul charge one because with this unit it when it's rolled upon it gets it stays in your soul and you're calling out units and just yeah it's gonna be an interesting uh, card to see around so sorry I'm just <laughs> uh, I'm just um, rambling on here but basically I would see four of this unit in my um, 
my opinion in the deck because it does give you soul it does give you an on ride effect um, the only thing that I could see would be a good addition to this it would be adding power to it but then that'd be a bit too much my opinion so yeah sorry about that rumble you guys I it, it was just going over there <laughs> but yeah this is a good card to see um, if, you're, if you're deciding a pale moon I would I could say 4 would be nice in your deck with this card, but it's totally up to you guys on how you want to build your card, so that's just my thoughts. So if you guys are playing Pale Moon, hope you guys can test this out, try out different combos, as well as for more Kumos and uh, Shop Paladins and all uh, Dark Rotors for that booster's coming out. So that booster was changed I believe to November now, or October because of some errors. I just wanted uh, to fix that up, so we'll be seeing that at a later date. But hopefully, you guys, um, building your decks um, can get your cards on time during, uh, I believe, um, for California, our regionals are going to be at November. Uh, in November, so yeah. Hopefully, you guys get it on time, guys. So. That is pretty much it for me guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it was a bit rambling um, for this. But still had fun. <laughs> um, if you guys like listening to me ramble, you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button. And yeah, that's pretty much it you guys. I'll, put, I'll be putting the descriptions in the uh, description box below on the website. Card correlations as well. Um, as my Twitter account, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!